Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. We're here with Jeff Varner from Survivor Game Changers, the Australian Outback and Second Chances. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for speaking with us today. I appreciate you taking the time to talk about this in, uh, this situation. This is a very sensitive topic, and I'm really grateful that you guys have the balls to put it out there. I appreciate it. I did a horrible thing in last night's episode, and I just, I really need to publicly apologize as many times as I can. I know that I hurt Zeke, and I hurt those who love him, and I just, you know, I, I profusely apologize to them and anybody else that I heard. There are a lot of trans fans of Survivor who are furious and angry and sad today, and it's important that the interviews I do speak to their voices. You explained why you talked about Zeke being transgender. What were your reactions to the intensity of everybody else's response? You know, I did not go into that tribal council with the intention of using that. I didn't. It wasn't part of what was in my head and in my heart. You didn't get to see the entire two hours. You saw 20 minutes of a two-hour tribal, Mm -hmm. and you didn't get to see the five hours of scrambling that led into that tribal. So there's a whole lot that went on that helped shape what happened in that moment. And so when I sat down, my intention was arguing about that secret alliance that was there between Zeke and Andrea and, and Ozzy, trying to get Ty and Debbie and Sarah to understand they're not part of it. They're on the bottom, and they need to vote with me. And they were being deceived by this alliance. And when Zeke spoke up, you don't see this on the air, but when Zeke spoke up and said, Jeff's lying, there is no deception, that just triggered an emotional place in me that had me fire out that question to him that changed everything. And then all of a sudden, the theme of deception turns into transgender people deceiving, which was the last thing that needed to happen. It is not at all what was in my head, what was in my heart. Transgender people fight. That's one of the biggest stereotypes and stigmas they face, is that people think they spend their time deceiving. They hide in bathrooms and they're predators and all of this awful stuff that just is not accurate. Transgender people are not fraudulent. They're not deceptive. They're basically doing everything they can to live safely. And I just hate that that's where that turned and that's where that went. So with everybody's reaction, I didn't have an expectation of how they would react. But I'm glad that they reacted the way they did because that is the appropriate reaction. And hopefully the collective energy of all of it can move us to a much better place. That's so important to me that that comes out of this show. He said he didn't tell anyone. How did you end up knowing that? I have transgender people in my life, so call it instinctual. You know, I just knew. I knew right out of the gate. There are little clues here and there. And I could sit here and rattle off every little thing from the first moment we stepped on the phone, on the plane, until the moment that this all happened. You know, there were moments that Zeke popped out himself with. But I don't think that it's respectful for Zeke and anyone like him for us to kind of be talking about how to spot a transgender person. You know, I just don't think Mm -hmm. that's appropriate. So if you'll forgive me, I I really don't want to go into much detail about that. But I'll say that before I opened my mouth, I was not 100 percent sure that I knew what I was talking about. Did they stop things at any point and ask Zeke if it was okay to proceed or did it just continue to roll once you opened that door? No, it, it, it went on. It went on. You know, Andrea said in the tribal council, you know, I didn't know, which is not true because she and I had a conversation about it four hours earlier. She did not know. However people chose to react to that moment and whatever they chose to say and do is up to them. You know, I don't, I'm not shaming anyone. I'm not pointing a finger at anybody. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, that started to happen. It needed to happen and they didn't stop it. It just, happened. So what were you feeling when you told Propes that you were ready to leave? Well, there's another piece of the tribal that you don't see that basically it it was no longer about the game for me. Mm -hmm. The game was over. It didn't matter. This This had moved into a different place and there was a certain devastation and it just didn't feel right that I was there. It just didn't feel right. There was nothing I could do to change them. I didn't have an idol in my pocket. 
although I found out later I was five feet from it. If I just turned right instead of left, I would have walked right into it. But I didn't have a way to stay. There was no reason to vote, no reason to waste the time. And I was ready to go. I was in the middle of an incredibly painful situation. And at that point, I just I needed that pain to end. I needed to get, you know, I was causing so much pain and I just needed to remove mm -hmm. myself so those guys could calm down and move forward and go on. And if that's, if I can remember correctly, that's where I was. That night is such a blur, but yeah. I did not quit. I'll tell you that. Did not quit. I worked my ass off for eight hours. I was breaking a sweat back at camp trying to stay. And anybody mm -hmm. there who tells you anything otherwise is a liar. That's just where it was and what needed to happen at the time. Is there anything else that you think is important about tribal council that you want to share with us? No, other than I'm just happy that it aired the way it happened. I think it's it's so important that we send the message to the world that outing someone is horrible. It's just a horrible thing to do. It hurts people. It's, it's not the thing that you should do. And I think, you know, in the spirit of acknowledging the humanity and dignity of trans people and lifting their voices, that tribal council did exactly that for Zeke. And in the end, the transgender person won. And that's making me smile right now as I say that, because that's just a beautiful thing. That's the way it should have been. And so that tribal played out exactly the way that tribal needed to play out. And I'm grateful to be the example for the world as to why you should never do what I did. And I'm really grateful for the fact that a conversation has been launched that will eventually affect some really solid change. Have you and Zeke been able to work through the experience since then? Well, Zeke and I are on separate journeys. He's dealing with a very different set of emotions and thoughts than I am dealing with. So while we have spoken, while we have spoken several times in the last 10 months, and he has reiterated his forgiveness and his compassion and his grace, which I'm just amazed that he has been there. Like we were coming to a good place. I understand today as he's doing his press that he's he's aiming with a different a different uh, perspective, and I respect that. I understand that, and I'll take it like a man. As long as he is in a platform where he can move forward and do what is good for him and for his family and for the transgender community, I am 100% supportive of him, even if he has to do it at my expense. It's okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans about yourself and your experience? I've stayed away from social media. I don't really know what people are saying out there. I do know that several have made their way around my social media and gotten to me. And, you know, while I am getting a handful of you know, go screw yourself and die, you hateful human, which I understand and respect and apologize to them. I am getting a whole lot of love and support, and the pieces that really make me the happiest are the ones that are supporting both Zeke and myself, as well as the show, because that's where it's at. That's where it should be. We're all going to move forward together and do good stuff, and that's important. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for sharing with us today, and we thank wish you. you good luck. So glad that you, I'm so glad you have the guts to talk about it. <laughs> good luck to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.